everyone, I'm Min Jung. I will present how to detect some narrow spaces from food products. Salmonella disease is a worldwide infectious disease commonly present as fever, diarrhea, and sometimes vomiting. According to the, uh, this table in Singapore, a total of about 1,500 confirmed cases of non type 4 deer salmonella in 2012 were reported. Uh, salmonella has a lot of cell types, and among them, type murium and enteritidus are the most commonly isolated cell types. The frequent occurrence of cases is due to, to an association with the consumption of contaminated food such as egg and meat products. Uh, salmonella is focused on chiefly aerobic gram-negative bacteria. The bacteria can survive in both conditions with air and without air. Cold store at less than uh, five, 5 degrees Celsius can inhibit the salmonella growth but not killing. However, inadequate cooking and domestic refrigerators with temperature abuse can contribute to a heat or cold stress conditions, which may enhance their resistance to stress. For this reason, preconditioning of the salmonella to low temperatures can cross at refrigerated uh, food products. Furthermore, salmonella can be infections with only more than 100 cells and can produce enterotoxin. According to FDA BAM, there are six steps. First step is pre enrichment Sometimes bacteria can be injured into food products, so they need to recover time into the pre enrichment step. A uh, second step is a uh, selective enrichment step. Third step is selective uh, agar step. Fourth is selective biochemical confirmations. And last step is the other biochemical confirmations. Because salmonella has a lot of cell types, about 1,500 cell types, all cell types have a little bit different biochemical characteristic, and also Enterobacteria family like Proteus and Stylobacter has a similar biochemical characteristic with Salmonella. That's why Salmonella has long uh, detection method. First step is pre enrichment into non-selective media. There are different types of media because different food products have different bacteria. Typically, soy broth is not non-selective agar uh, broth, but they maybe can help salmonella growth. Lactose broth, universal free enrichment broth, and buffered pepto water are also non-selective media. Second step is uh, selective enrichment using RV and TT broth. RV has two uh, selective agents, malachite green and magnesium chloride. They can help to uh, repress the other microflora and also low pH uh, gives another selectivity. TT broth, uh, sodium uh, thiosulfate and iodine solutions can make uh, a tetrathionate. Uh, salmonella has the enzyme to break down tetrathionate, but the other not. So, TT can inhibit the other microflora. Current system uses three different selective agars, uh, BS, XLD, and HE agar. Each agar has different selective agents, like a BS agar has brilliant green that can inhibit the gram positive bacteria. Ferrous sulfide is added for hydrogen sulfide production, like the this black center. A typical colony are black or greenish gray, sometimes they have a metallic seed. A XD, XLD agar. 
a sodium or di or disosicrated can inhibit the gram positive bacteria. Salmonella can ferment uh, can rapidly ferment the cellulose, so the colony are pink with or without the black center. Hector and enteric agar usually uses to differentiate salmonella and shigella from other gram negative bacteria. Uh, this, agar con this agar contains a uh, sugar like lactose and sucrose. Lactose fermentative bacteria acts defy the medium and turns yellow to orange colony. Where well, is uh, lactose negative bacteria such as uh, salmonella? I colorize the medium turning blue. A thiosulfate and ammonium citrate can produce black center, black center, but shigella does not produce the hydrogen peroxide and a fierce green colony. Last step is using TSI and LIA to test metabolic characteristics. TSI agar has uh, three different sugars, glucose, lactose, and sucrose. But salmonella only ferment, ferment glucose. Panel red serve as uh, X indicators, yellow. So salmonella produced the X and gas from glucose in TSI agar. Uh, this test tube is TSI, just control. Red means alkaline conditions. Whereas yellow means the uh, acidic conditions. Bacteria can ferment to the sugar, in that case, the turning yellow. Uh, this test tube indicated uh, alkaline slant with lead, gas, and hydrogen sulfide that makes a uh, black butt. So, uh, salmonella can ferment only glucose with gas and hydrogen sulfide products. LIA just tests uh, whether bacteria uh, decarboxylate or deaminate lysine. Salmonella uh, has lysine decarboxylations. This means alkaline conditions. So they can maybe use the alkaline slant and alkaline vault due to producing alkaline reaction. So uh, yellow means XC conditions, but salmonella has alkaline condition, and they can uh, produce hydrogen sulfide that makes black butt. This is salmonella test tube. This is common pictures of salmonella in the biochemical testing. Uh, these combinations like uh, DSI, LIA, uh, hydrogen sulfide gas, indoor, and RVP. Uh, can differentiate between the salmonella and other bacteria like Cytobacter or E. coli. That's all. Thank you.